Hello and welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorials channel. In this video lesson, you will learn how to test for insecure data transport or the clear text transmission of sensitive data vulnerability in a WordPress website and apply patches if necessary. Let's get started. Open your browser and type your target domain name on the address bar. After the website loads, look for the padlock on the top left corner of the address bar. If you can see the padlock, the site is loading securely or the hypertext transfer protocol secure or HTTPS is used. This protocol allows transmission of all data including the sensitive data such as personal identifiable information, PII, financial information, health records, intellectual property and other types of confidential data. Examples of unsecured communication channels include HTTP, FTP, SMTP, and other plain text uh, protocols. If any of the unsecure protocols are being used, you should install the SSL certificate on the server and do necessary configurations. We can see the padlock here because the SSL certificate has been installed and configured on the web server where the site is hosted and the certificate has been configured properly. For further information, click on the padlock, connection is secure and click on certificate is valid. Here you can see more information about the SSL certificate including the issuer company, validity period and for more details you can click on the details tab. If you look from a hacker's eye, you may be interested in what version of TLS is being used. TLS stands for Transport Layer Security which is the successor of SSL. If a website transmits data just with SSL encryption, that may be vulnerable because the SSL can be bypassed or the HTTPS with just SSL can be downgraded to HTTP only, which allows transmission of data in plain text and the data in the plain text can be known by the hacker who is doing attack such as man in the middle attack. So to check in the detail about the SSL or TLS status of a website, open a new tab and type the URL ssllabs.com and hit enter. Here click on the test your server link. Then type the domain name on the box and click on the submit button. Wait for some time for the detailed report. In my case, the rating of the SSL or TLS status is A. This means there is no insecure data transport or clear text transmission of sensitive data vulnerability in the website. But if you get the rating lower than A, uh, scroll down and find out what might be the issues that are causing you to get the rating lower. Also here I can see the server supports TLS 1.2. This means that the version is secure. Any version lower than 1.2 is vulnerable. If you find any lower version, you will have to contact your hosting provider and ask them to upgrade the TLS version. But if you are the server administrator, I'll show you where and how you can upgrade the TLS version. Although the latest version of TLS is 1.3 at the time of recording this video, we will see how to upgrade the TLS version to the latest later in the video. The alternative and quicker way of testing what TLS version is used is by using the Linux terminal. Go to your Linux terminal and run the command as openssl space s underscore client dash connect then target domain name colon 443 space iphone tls 1 underscore 2 and hit enter. If you get details, a certificate, a fingerprints and information like the protocol TLS B1.2 and such, you can be confirmed that the secure version of TLS is being used. Further, you can check for other versions such as TLS 1.1. Here as you can see, we are getting the handshake errors. This tells us that TLS B1.1 is not being used now. Moving on to the next step, let's know how to harden the unsecured TLS version. For this, you should get access to the hosting server and look for ways to upgrade the TLS version. The methods may be different depending upon the web server type and web server host. I'm going to teach you where and how we can upgrade the version on an Apache web server and on Nginx web server. Log in to the server via the SSH and type netstat space hyphen tulnp space pipe space grip space 80 to know what service is running on the port 80. 
Here we can see Apache 2 is running on port number 80. So with this, uh, we know that this is an Apache web server. And we have noticed a bit earlier on the video that the SSL certificate was less encrypt. So if the SSL certificate has been installed on the server, we should uh, open the file slash etc slash let's encrypt slash options dash ssl dash apache dot conf with a text editor such as bi here we can see the ssl protocol version and the server supports as you can see it already supports tls b1 tls b1.1 tls b1.2 and ssl b1.3 tls b1.3 you don't need to do anything but if you see only TLS B1 and TLS B1.1, you will need to add the higher versions, then save the configuration file. Check if the Apache configuration is correct and restart the Apache 2 service. That's all you need to do. Finally, let's check on a uh, Nginx server. Like we did for the Apache, you can check which service is running on port 80. If you don't know it already, change the directory to slash etc slash nginx and list the contents. The SSL configuration file may be in this location or inside conf.d directory or any other location depending upon the setup. In my case, uh, it's inside the global slash server directory. So I switch the current directory to global slash server and list the contents. Here I have a ssl.conf file. I open it with a text editor. And we can see that the TLS B1.2 is being used. If you want to add TLS B1.3, you can give a space before the semicolon and add TLS B1.3. Then save the file. Check the Nginx configuration and reload the Nginx service. That's all. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was useful to you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, have a nice time. Goodbye.